In this video, we will learn all about frequency polygons. Now, a frequency polygon is a way to represent data. It's sort of like a broken line graph, except it's been drawn over a histogram. So anytime you might make a histogram, you could also make a frequency polygon instead. Frequency polygons are used to represent data that is continuous, and it shows the frequency of that data into different groups. If you already have a histogram, it's pretty easy to go from that to a frequency polygon. All you do is look at your histogram, and we have an old example of a histogram here, and then find the midpoint at the top of each of your bars of the histogram and connect those to make a polygon. So for example, I have my first bar is right here and the midpoint would be right here. This bar represented ages from 20 to 30, so the midpoint is at 25. Then I find the midpoint at 35, 45, 55, 65, and 75. I can also find the midpoints of the bars that didn't have any values. So between 10 and 20, there was nothing. So I can put a dot there. And between 80 and 90, there was nothing. So I can put a dot there. Now to make the actual frequency polygon, all you have to do is connect each consecutive pair of midpoints with a straight line. So just like this. So it's called a frequency polygon because the shape you get is a polygon. Notice that it shows you the exact same type of information as a histogram. It's just another way of representing that data. And the benefit of a frequency polygon is that if you want to compare different sets of data, that would be hard to do with histograms because you can't really put a histogram over another histogram. It's way too messy. But you could have multiple frequency polygons on the same graph. So that's one advantage of a frequency polygon. One thing to realize is even though I created that frequency polygon on, from the histogram, you won't necessarily see both the histogram and frequency polygon at the same time. That's just one easy way to create a frequency polygon if you already have the histogram. But if you wanted to compare different data sets, you wouldn't have the histogram there. You would just make the frequency polygons. So the way to make a frequency polygon from scratch without the histogram is to go back to the table that shows you your bins and your frequencies. So for example, in this one, we had the bin that said from 20 to 30, there were three people and so on. So you look at this table and then you just need to find the midpoint for each of your bins. So we would add in addition an additional column for midpoint. And for like this first bin right here, the midpoint would be at 25. And then you'd be plotting the points that are the midpoint and the frequency at that point for each of the bins. So this first point right here is at 25, 3. So that's how you could create a frequency polygon if you didn't already have the histogram there to work with. 